So when I think of a Q ability in League, I think of the ability that you want to be at full power first, you max it first, like Karma Q, Zoe Q, you know, Nasus, all those abilities are essentially like the biggest damage in their kits, the biggest part of their kits, and for a lot of champions that's the case. But then there are these five Qs, which for some of these champs are still big parts of their kit, but Either you don't think about them when you think of the best cues in the game, or you don't, you know, may, you might not realize how useful they are. Either way, these are the uh, what I believe to be the five underrated Q abilities in League. It's not definitively that, and uh, this isn't to say that um, you know this can't change in time and a Q ability later on becomes underrated that it wasn't already. Um, or that one of these abilities somehow becomes overrated with the rework, something like that. Uh, this is just my opinion for five Q abilities that maybe uh, maybe don't get talked about enough in the conversation. Because realistically, pretty much every Q ability is great. Um, so these ones maybe should be talked about more, maybe not. I don't know, there's a lot of competition. Either way, before uh, we got on to it, quick reminder, if you enjoyed the video, I'd greatly appreciate if you... Um, Demacia and Justice, the like and subscribe buttons, and maybe comment what Q abilities you think are underrated, uh, if they differ from this list, or maybe talk about other reasons why you think the abilities on this list are underrated, or argue with me and say that they're actually overrated or properly rated. Either way, first one is Skarner Q. Um, I I feel like most people just think that this is worse, uh, worse version of Hecarim's Q, which that kind of has merit to it. But uh, Skarner Q does a lot of damage, especially when it's like empowered. And sure, it's not as it doesn't pack the same punch as Hecarim Q. But when you're in a spire and you can just uh, you can just demolish people with them, like people imagine Skarner always building tank. So you know it's not the same as Hecarim who's building damage. So it's very well possible that Skarner Q could actually out damage a, a Hecarim Q. Um, just people don't test it because Skarner is horrendously unpopular. But I mean, if you talk to Captain Flowers about it, he might he might tell you that you know with his Chad build he out damages a uh, Hecarim Q. So either way, um, this kind of lacks the uh, kind of lacks the testing by a lot of people because he because Skarner is so unpopular. But at the end of the day, I think that this ability is a uh, is not just a worse version of Hecarim Q and. Uh, but well, it might be worse, but maybe not as worse as people are giving it credit for. Then we have Shivana Q. Um, this one gets overshadowed in terms of her AP build by the one button that matters. Well, there's two buttons that matter, but the R to guide you to the uh, to the one button that matters, which is the E. But it's actually really good, especially for top lane Shivana, where you just auto Q and instantly proc press the attack if you decide to run it. Sacks Conqueror fast, great for killing wards quickly. Um, just all around a a fine ability. I mean, it's not going to jump. It's it's not like Zoe Q where you're just going to be walking around and Shivana is going to hit you with this ability and you're going to die unless she's abnormally fed. But it's still it's still a fine ability. Um, Next one we have Yorick Q. I put this here just because Yorick is, it's kind of like Skarner, where Yorick is just horrendously unpopular that people don't really, you know, think of his abilities in contention for the best ones. Because if he had like a lot of the best abilities, then he probably would be played more. Or I don't know, maybe his style is just too wonky for people to enjoy. But his Q, it hits like a truck. And especially with... I mean the passive of it bringing up his little uh, his little ghouls. It's definitely a in, an incredibly good uh, ability that uh, sure it doesn't hit as much as a Nasus Q with a bunch of stacks, but there's not a lot of abilities that do hit that hard. And it's still the healing is great, the damage is great, and the passive for bringing up the ghouls is insane. So this is. This is one of the best cues in the game, in my opinion. If you take all of those together with all the passives that you get with it, but I mean, people don't talk about it because it's on a very unpopular champion. Let me ask Tristana Q. This is very simple. 
just give the attack speed. Just give like uh, I think 100% attack speed or maybe even more than that at max rank, which is it's it's just gold value. And you know on Tristana, it makes it so that you need to press less buttons. There's not like a, an ability that you need to weave in at some point. Just cast it at any time before you start auto attacking to auto attack faster. It's just people. I don't know, people underestimate the value of just giving you m just gold worth of stats for free right before you trade. So, Tristana Q is pretty nutty. Um, then we finally have the Kog'Maw Q, where you only really think of this, you, you think of Kog'Maw for his W and then his R for AP Kog'Maw. Um, but his Q deals, sh it shreds, it deals damage and I think I saw an XFS and Saber video a while back which was uh it was about it was before the item rework with um with Monomune Kogma where you just hit someone with the Q. If you hit him with the Q then you just shred him and if you don't then uh then you back off and that kinda stuck with me. You know this this ability is is kinda I feel like it's kinda slept on in Kogma's well not just not in Kogma's kit. You can't really sleep on an ability in a four ability kit. Like excluding passive, but either way, people don't think about this ability when they think of um, it's it's really great utility. Even though it doesn't CC, it you know you could just throw out cues, especially if you're playing AP Kogma. You could just shred a front line with it, and <clears throat> the value of hitting it is oftentimes higher value than uh, than hitting many ultimates, even just based off what you can get from it. Although if you're playing I mean, many ultimates can be a stretch, but either way, I think it's just slept on a little bit, just like the other abilities on this list. So that was the fifth ability that I do that I believe should be underrated. Even at the end of this video, I mean, these, I realize that these abilities are still great abilities. It's not it's not saying that they're bad in any way. It's just you don't see them in the conversation for best abilities in the game. And while some of them, like Shivana Q, I would hardly consider a be one of the best abilities in the game. I still think it's better than what people give it credit for, um, which is the same as the others. Either way, uh, thanks for clicking. That was the video. If you enjoyed it, once again, I don't mean to show too hard, but like and subscribe would be uh, very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, that's all my time today. See ya.